What it do guys, it's CJ here again and today I'm coming at you to address a question that's been asked over and over online. It's a very legitimate question and that question is how do I succeed if I'm brand new to internet marketing? Now just know that if that's you right now right here, you're watching this video, my heart goes out to you because myself, actually all marketers who've struggled online, we've all come from that perspective that this is something impossible to achieve but it's really not, it's actually very simple and once I explain this three-step business model to you, you're going to say, wow, you know, that can't be it. I've been struggling online for so long that, that it just can't be that simple, but it truly is. You know, none of us come out the womb knowing how to do any of this stuff. We've all had to build from the ground up. Like I said, me, myself, when I first got online, my mind was bouncing in three different directions. Uh, my focus wasn't narrow and forward. It was broad. Uh, but once you know how to do these things, at least I know once I knew how to do these three things, uh, I started seeing success almost immediately. And I know if I've known it back in the past, I would have saw success earlier on. So with that, I'm just going to jump right into it. Obviously, you have to have a product, offer, a service. So we won't get into that. That's a given. But once you have that, you need to know how to drive traffic to your product, offer, a service. But not just any kind of traffic. Laser targeted traffic. Now, what does that mean? Laser targeted traffic. Uh, for instance, um, trying to think of an example. Uh, uh, you're in the meat industry. I don't know the meat industry, and you probably heard the term. You don't want to sell steak to a vegetarian. So that makes sense, doesn't it? That's not your target market. You're not going to want to sell something to somebody who's not going to use your product. Your ideal market, if you were in the meat industry, would be people who uh, who've already bought meat who've um, who are buying meat or who are thinking about buying meat that makes more sense you wanna you wanna know you wanna create a message that targets to those people now, for instance right now I'm making a YouTube video only for people who are brand new to internet marketing who are struggling and they wanna know how they can have some success you see how I narrowed that down a little bit I could have talked to all internet marketers but all internet marketers aren't struggling some are doing very very well and making a lot of you know big sums of money but I've narrowed it down to this small target group so I can deliver a more clear, concise message, and that's what you have to do. There's plenty of ways to do that, and like I said, right now I'm doing a YouTube video. You can do blog posts, you can do Facebook, Twitter, all kinds of social media stuff, forums, and that's just the free stuff, which I highly recommend. If you're brand new, start with the free things. Get one or two free things, get really good at delivering a message on those and getting traffic. Then you can move on to paid stuff like uh, Google PPC, Facebook PPC, uh, banner ads, even offline things like direct mail, postcards, etc. Uh, like I said, if you're brand new, you want to start with those free things because you probably don't have a lot of startup cash to advertise anyway. But once you get good at that, once you start seeing leads, maybe even you start making a little money, you can move on to paid ads, which I, I highly recommend because that's the fastest way to build your business online. Because, uh, like I said, it comes at you fast, the traffic it comes at you in bunches. They're highly qualified, high quality leads, and they're usually the easiest to sell. They usually buy right on the spot because nobody clicks on an ad uh, just to, to browse the ad. You know, in fact, a lot of people hate ads, so if they click on it, it's, it's highly likely that they're going to buy from you. Now, once you start getting traffic, you might get two to three, you know, looks a day at whatever you're trying to sell. Then that starts stepping up to 20, and so you need to move on to step two, which is to capture that traffic and turn them into leads. Now what does that mean? Um, say Walmart. Uh, n nobody goes to Walmart to shop just one time. There might be people who do that, but in fact in uppers of over 80 percent of people who shop at Walmart are reoccurring customers, which means they're going back every day or, or whenever they need groceries or whatever they need from Walmart, they go to Walmart for that. They would never make money Walmart if people only shop there one time. It would never make the big money. So if you're an affiliate marketer and you're thinking, uh, you know, I make this $50 sale here, I might get a $75 sale here, 150 here, and you might get lucky and get a $300 sale, and that's great, but that's not where the money is. The money is in the reoccurring customer. You need to find a way to capture that person and make him or her a lifetime customer so you can continuously talk to them, market to them, make money off of them. How do you do that? The way I do it is I send them to a capture page, which is basically a page that uh, in exchange for some valuable information, they give me their email. So using the meat industry, I don't know why I chose meat, it just popped in my head, but using that again, 
um, my capture page might say something like um, uh, a three step method to tripling your sales of meat overnight. Now somebody who's interested in tripling their sales of their meat, they'll be very interested in that. They might give me their email in exchange for that information. And what I'll do is over time I'll give them even more and more and more information and hopefully I'll get their business later on in the process. Now that's just how I do it. I do capture pages. You can do capture pages. I can teach you how to do capture pages. But you can also say follow me on Twitter because you know whatever you post on Twitter shoots out to everybody on, on your following. Uh, Facebook fan page. Uh, if you're running a blog you can say subscribe to my RSS feed and uh, what that'll do is whenever you post fresh content or you update your blog it'll send an alert to your subscriber and they'll be able to, to uh, uh, link up with you much more easily than searching on Google for you over and over again so step two the point is to capture those people in order to make them a lifetime customer step three where you want to send those people you capture uh, there's plenty of ways to do this once again but I use an autoresponder uh, what is an autoresponder? It's basically your piggy bank. So if the leads that you converted are pennies, the autoresponder is your piggy bank. And you store all those pennies in this bank in order to market to them over and over and over again. Now this is the most important part and, and usually the most difficult part of the process because uh, what people do is they lead with the sale, which is a big mistake. I'm going to say something that's very counterintuitive to what you're uh, used to, which is once they get in your autoresponder, you do not want to lead with a sale. You want to lead with something of value, which is usually some information or maybe even a gift. So they, they, you capture them in step two. Step three, they go to your list. You start telling them things about yourself. You start giving them information and tips about whatever market they're in. You start giving away this valuable information, and then you recommend your product as a solution to their problem or your product as a solution to um as a, a, a highway for them to reach their goals or your product you recommend that after you lead with the value that's very important to remember you recommend your product after you lead with the value it's called passive promotion we won't go into that but that's that's basically how you sell them on that you want to build a relationship so they get to know like and trust you you want to tell them you know bring out your personality don't be so robotic tell them something about yourself be yourself and they will buy from you. People, people like buying from people and most importantly they don't like being sold so do not lead with the cold hard sell like buy this now it will solve all your problems or buy from me, buy from me, I want your money. Never do that. Okay, and That's what the autoresponder allows you to do. It allows you to build that relationship so over time these people get to know you and uh, hopefully they'll do business with you later on down the road and that's the goal to get their business later on down the road. Uh, now they might people might buy from you early on in the process and step one you know you might send that traffic to whatever you're offering they might buy right away but that's only a small part of your income it's only going to be a very small part of your income they might go to step two and buy but again the small part of your income the money is in step three which is your list you've heard people say that before I'm sure the money is in the list get them on your list build a relationship lead with value and they will buy from you I promise you they will buy from you Now let's recap again you have a product offer a service you drive traffic you capture their information to make them a recurring customer step three you build a relationship you get their business that simple guys that's very easy anybody can do it if you want to learn how to put all that together if you want to learn uh, the traffic techniques I use to drive to my offer if you want to learn how to build capture pages or you want to know how you can get free capture pages and if you want to learn how to build your list there's a link below newmarketsecrets.com click on it put in your email address I'll send you some more information on that stuff and we'll talk later I'll see you guys on the other side